The first minister was asked to choose between breaking up the UK and ending poverty and chose the former, leading to criticism of his and the SNP's priorities. John Swinney has been blasted after using his one wish to break up the UK, rather than ending poverty for all Scots. He has been accused of prioritising independence over his one vow when he became first minister of eradicating child poverty in the country. The SNP has made no progress at all in lifting children out of poverty since taking office in 2007 with figures remaining stagnant. The relative poverty rate is still at 24%, what it was when Alex Salmon took office in 2007, despite the boasts about the Scottish child payment. It was also the vow of Hamza Yusuf when he was in Butte House but he once again failed to live up to it in his short stint as First Minister. Leading that figures have repeatedly claimed that they need the powers of independence to achieve this goal, despite predicted austerity by economists. Mr Swinney was asked by the big issue about this topic and if he had a magic lamp but only one wish, would you wish for independence or an end to poverty for all? You must choose one. And in an answer which backs criticism that the SNP only care about Skexit, he responded by admitting it was breaking up the UK. He said, we can't just wish poverty away, and I don't think we should pretend that we can. We all want to see an end to poverty, and people support independence precisely because they believe it gives us the powers to tackle the deep-rooted challenges in our society. Neighbouring countries comparable to Scotland have lower inequality and poverty rates than the UK. Independence won't mean that Scotland can match their success overnight, but with all our economic strengths, the question is, why not Scotland? His response was blasted by the Scottish Tories who pointed out that this shows that the priorities of Scots meant nothing to the SNP, with only one in five voters saying that independence would determine their vote at the general election. This compared to nearly two-thirds, 64%, who said the economy would be one of the three most important issues that would influence their choice. Scottish Tory chairman Craig Hoy told the Scottish Daily Express, Independence is page one, line one of the SNP's manifesto, so it's shocking but not surprising that John Swinney prioritises it over ending poverty. John Swinney says in one breath that you can't just wish poverty away, then in the next, absurdly tries to claim that independence would do just that. The reality is that the SNP already have the powers to tackle poverty in Scotland but on a range of policies, from the attainment gap in education to the housing crisis, they are failing to do so. The SNP are forever trying to excuse their dire record in office by claiming that independence would solve everything, but the public can see through them. If the SNP focused more on the public's priorities, instead of agitating to break up the UK, then our NHS, schools and roads wouldn't be in such a bad way. In key seats across Scotland, only the Scottish Conservatives can beat the SNP and switch the focus away from their independence obsession and onto the issues that really matter.